DR Congo is China's fifth largest destination for investment in Africa. More than 80 Chinese companies are investing in the country, and total investments exceeded 10 billion U.S. dollars in 2020, double that of 2015. Chinese investments have created nearly 50,000 local jobs, and most of which are in the mining and smelting sectors. And cooperation in the mining sector has accelerated the development of the DR Congo's upstream and upstream industries. Now, the two countries have also cooperated on a number of new projects, including the construction of Lumbumbashi General Hospital and the Zongo 2 hydropower plant. China has also helped the DR Congo build up telecommunications networks in many villages. And now to get some more analysis on the Chinese Foreign Minister's African tour, I'm pleased to be joined by Ms. He Wenping, Research Fellow at the Institute of West Asian and African Studies at the Chinese Academy of Social Sciences. Well, Ms. He, great to have you with us on China 24. So as we just mentioned, China has a lot of investments in the DR Congo. How do the two countries' economies complement each other? Well, Mom, um, Mom, yes, uh, I think uh, we are, you know, China and the DRC, we have a very strong complementary uh, with each other. As everybody knows, uh, DR, uh, you know, DRC, Democratic Republic of Congo, has very rich uh, resources and water resources and mineral resources, and also has a big size of the territory. So with those, uh, uh, you know, those resources, but they are short of, uh, technical know-how, short of financial resources, and also uh, those uh, management skill. So, uh, but China has reached about this. Uh, we have, uh, you know, uh, accumulated uh, very strong this construction competitive uh, advantage, and also uh, technical skill and uh, financial resources, and also those uh, management skill. Now it's also very high. So with this kind of uh, you know, complementary uh, those uh, advantage with each other. So that's why we have building on a very strong uh, economic and trade relationships with uh, DRC. So right now, as you just mentioned, yeah, we have a uh, lot of those uh, projects, uh, either uh, infrastructure construction and also hydropower, uh, those projects, and also uh, like a manufacturing industry and uh, also even human resources training, uh, those uh, exchange program also going on. Yeah, Mom, Mom. Yeah, and Ms. He, before yeah. arriving in the DR Congo, Wang was in Nigeria meeting the president in Abuja, and the two sides reached a consensus on deepening bilateral cooperation, highlighting joint efforts in COVID-19 pandemic control. Um, what, do you make, what do you think are the most pressing issues for containing the virus on the African continent where China could lend a helping hand? Yes, China has been doing that, offer uh, our helping hand to Africa uh, to help them to fight with this uh, COVID-19, this pandemic. We have been doing a lot ever since uh, 2020, uh, ever since uh, Africa has uh, found the very first uh, this, uh, you know, confirmed cases in Egypt, such as uh, those help, uh, including like we are sending, we have been sending our medical teams, expert team to uh, as many as like uh, 16 African countries. And also we have uh, more than 40 those medical teams based in different African countries. And uh, plus we have been providing a lot of those uh, antivirus, uh, those uh, materials, including face masks, like test uh, those needs and the other things. So I think, uh, uh, and also we have offering, uh, have been offering our experiences also to all those African countries, especially offer the help to the African Disease Control Center, African CDC. So nowadays we have been also, uh, you know, constructing the CDC building uh, for African CDC. So not only that, now we are moving to a new stage that is help Africa to get those uh, vaccine. Uh, we all know the vaccine will be, an, uh, you know, the very uh, powerful and the critical weapon uh, to defeat this uh, virus, this mm -hmm. pandemic. So China made vaccine now has been already, uh, I think uh, now uh, delivered to Egypt. Uh, this is the first African country now got China made the vaccine and has been uh, already uh, in use. So I think uh, in the future, uh, the China made the vaccine will uh, deliver to more African countries to help them uh, to fight uh, those uh, pandemic. 
as our just our African uh, journalist has just mentioned, uh, because those U.S. made vaccine or other countries made vaccine now, relatively speaking, is quite expensive mm -hmm. and is not accessible. Uh, but China made uh, vaccine now is access, uh, accessible and uh, also affordable. Yeah, right. So Thank Mama. you so much for your analysis, Ms. Ho.